Hi everybody, I'm Mike Perouche, Patrick Hammond, David Katz with Katz Consultants. Thanks for listening today. David, you had a topic you wanted to talk about today. Yeah, one of the things I found in consulting, I found it quite by accident, was that if your no-show rate is high enough, your practice will plateau regardless of what size practice you have. And before the age of computers, I hate to say this, maybe mm -hmm. when the computers were just starting, we took our client stats and we laid them out in a long row and we said, we looked at their no-show rate. And we, some people had a no-show rate of nearly 50%. Mm -hmm. Some people had a no-show rate of about 7%. And what we found is if you went to about 13%, anybody that had a no-show rate of less than 13% was growing and anybody that had a no-show rate of more than 13% was actually plateaued or possibly even going downhill. And the way you figure that out is you see how many patients were supposed to be here today and then how many patients didn't show up and that's your percentage. You have to it. So if you're supposed to have 100 patients and 13 didn't show up, then your no-show rate is 13%. So very important to get your no-show rate down. Well, it's true. And, and do this. Take 13% of your average daily patient visits and multiply that by your collection visit average and that's a yeah. substantial loss of revenue in your practice that's too. That's a good point. So I, th I think that that's where that tipping point is and you really start to notice a decline in your practice at that 13% mark. Yeah. And what I found that really helps solve that problem, at least to some extent, is you can usually get a feel from a patient that's probably going to drop out of care. Mm -hmm. Instead of going, walking them back up front, hey, I'll see you Tuesday on Su Susie, I'll see you then and walk away, go ahead and talk to them about it. Hey, I, I, is there something bothering you or things aren't pr progressing the way you feel? Go ahead and talk to them. And usually it's something, yeah, doc, it just, this knot just won't go away. And so maybe it's something she didn't even bring up or maybe it's something that you overlooked but you just take that extra minute or two and it keeps that drop percentage low you know we call that preemptive communication and it's really paying attention to your patients especially their body language and things the the sub the subconscious things and noticing those and trying to have that conversation with the patient before they just walk away yeah, that's absolutely right. I have to tell you that I'm, I'm big into scripting, but some scripting I find doesn't make much difference. Mm -hmm. I had a consultant once that said, when you release a patient, instead of saying, I want to see you on next week Wednesday, he said, you need to see me next week Wednesday, mm -hmm. so it looked like they had a want. Well, I could never tell that that made any difference whatsoever. In fact, I don't think it's as important what you tell the patient is what the patient responds back to you. So if you say, uh, you say, okay, Terry, I'll see you uh, next week, Wednesday. And if Terry says, okay, I'll try to make it in. That is, you, he didn't firm up the appointment, or she didn't right. firm up the appointment. It, but it, and you, so you gotta stop right there, just like you said, Patrick. Mm -hmm. you, gotta, you gotta say, uh, it doesn't sound like you uh, maybe can make it. Is there a problem with Wednesday? And they said, yeah, my in-laws have a wedding. There's gonna be people coming into town, mm -hmm. and I think I gotta go to the airport a couple times that day. You say, well, let's just schedule them on Tuesday. He said, that'd be a lot better. And there you've got a confirmation. So it isn't so important what you say, what you say to them, but what's important is listening to what they say to you. And like you said, Patrick, you, people a lot of times telegraph that they're going right. to drop from under care. Yeah, so it's really about listening to the patient mm -hmm. and the That's whole right. process. Present time consciousness. Present time. I love mm -hmm. it. All right, everybody. Thanks for listening today. I'm Mike Perouche, Patrick Hammond, David Katz. We're Katz Consultants. Thanks for being here.